Hello guys, I was asked if I also do programming for the stock market. Well, I'd like to use the tool TradingView that can be coded with the language PineScript. You can see it on tradingview.com. This is a candlestick chart for gold CFDs. And I want to show you how you can code your own indicators so that you can, for example, add signals to the chart when you can buy or sell. This is a one hour chart. You see this here in the toolbar. And this means every candle, every bar in the chart has a length of one hour. You can define a different time frame, but we stick to one hour. For everybody who doesn't know how candlesticks work, the bottom of the candle defines the start price, the top in this case after one hour is the end price, and at the ends of the so-called wicks you can see the highest and the lowest price. Just that you know the basics. Ok, now let me show you how to add an indicator to the chart. You also find this in the toolbar and a very common one is a moving average. You can search for EMA, which means Exponential Moving Average for the price. It smooths price data over a period of time in days, which helps to spot trends. There's also a simple moving average, but the exponential, or also called weighted moving average, responds more quickly to price changes. You see it is added here as a graph to the chart. And now you can go ahead and open the settings of the indicator and change input data like the length, these are the number of days that are used to calculate the average. Or you can modify the style of the graph. Ok, but as I told you we can code these indicators with a language that is called PineScript. You can see this here in the Pine editor and this is the code for the EMA. But we are going to create our own example now. First I'm closing this indicator. And then we create a new blank indicator here in the Pine editor. And then a new script, a so called study, is created and the name is set to my script. I change it to EMA demo because what I want to code here is to add two moving averages to the chart and add an overlay when these are crossing. A crossover or cross under of a fast and slow moving average can be regarded as a buy or sell signal. At least it is a common simple strategy that should be combined with more analysis and other indicators. Ok, I saved the script now. And when you click on open, you can reopen it and you also find it under my scripts. Ok, so let's add the code. What is already added is a plot for the closing prices. This means when we add this indicator to the chart, we get a separate panel with a graph, a plot, that displays the data points of the closing prices. But you see it is not added as an overlay to the chart, but to use it as an overlay in the chart window, we have to add a parameter to the study. So first I'm closing the indicator, and then I add a property called overlay to the study and set it to true. And if we would add it now to the chart again, we could see it directly in the chart window. But before I do that, I want to define a moving average that I'm going to display as an overlay in the chart. Ok, so first of all I create a variable called fastEMA. And this function here, EMA, returns the exponential moving averages of the closing prices for a certain number of days that you can define here as a parameter, for example 10. But I think it would be better to define a variable for this and use it as parameter. Great. And of course we don't want to plot the closing prices, we want to plot the EMA. Like that. Very simple. Great. Then I click add to chart and you see the moving average as an overlay. Ok, but now let's make it a bit more flexible. I want to be able to change the parameters and the styles of the graph. So what we can do here is to use the input function instead of using constant values for the parameters. As default value for the fast EMA I use 10, the minimum I set to 1 and the title to fast EMA. You can press Ctrl and S to save it and the advantage is now that you can change the inputs in the settings of the indicator. But I will show this in the end when we added the second EMA. You can open the settings here where we can also define the style of the plot. Here you can define the color and the line style and also set the line thickness. I use this one and you see the graph is changing. But the name plot is a default, I will change it in the script. I set it to fast EMA. Also a default color and line width. 
And now we can see this in the settings. Okay, nice. Now we'll add a slower EMA. So we can more or less copy and paste the code for this one. The default color is set to orange and the name to slow EMA. Then I save again and here we have it in the chart. Alright, but now I want to see some labels in the chart that appear when these two averages are crossing. For this we have two nice functions. The first one is crossover that returns true when one variable series crossed over another one. And cross under is true when it is crossing under the series. So first I use here cross over with the parameters fast and slow EMA and store the result in a variable called by because I want to regard this as a by signal. The other one as I mentioned is cross under that I use with the same parameters and store it in the variable cell. Okay, now we have the signals. The only thing we have to do now is to display labels if the signals are set to true because these are boolean variables. Okay, so I check if by is set to true, like that. Then this code in a new block is executed. It has an indentation, a bit like Python. And here I create a new label at the current bar index and the text is set to by. For the color, I will use green. And I want to make it appear below the bar. The style is set to label up so that we get an arrow that is pointing upwards. Okay, now we can already press Ctrl and S to save and you see the labels are displayed at the crossover points. Okay, now we can do the same for the cell signal. Sorry, again, copy and paste. We change the parameters accordingly and press Ctrl and S and you see the cell labels. As I said, you can use other indicators in combination with this indicator. For example, the RSI, the Relative Strength Index, you find this here. Which is a momentum indicator to measure recent price changes. So you can check when your buy or sell signal appears. If the RSI is below or above the value 50, that could confirm your signal. There are many other indicators for technical analysis but this would go beyond the scope of this video. Okay, as I said, let's open again the settings so that we can have a look at the inputs that we defined and that I can use to change the length of the fast and slow EMA. Okay guys, this tutorial was a bit different. Please tell me if you like it and if you want to see more stuff like that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And follow me on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook, support me by being my patron, this would be great. Or join as a channel member and I'll see you in the next one here on JNM.